Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about signals, driving signals in the UK. When we drive, we communicate with other road users by signaling. We let other road users know what we are doing or what we are about to do by doing our signals. So in this video, I'd like to talk to you about the signals we use for us to drive let others know what we are doing or what we are about to do. Let's start the lesson. Okay, so let's talk about the signals we use on the road for us to let others know what we are doing or what we are about to do. So when we talk about signals, what do we think of signals? The first thing comes in our mind is the indicator. This is the signal we use to let others know we are going left and we are going right. And this is the only thing that comes in our mind that that is the only signal we are using. But is it? Is that the only thing we are using to let others know what we are doing? So let's talk about the signals we are using when we are driving. Because there are many signals we are using by knowingly and by unknowingly. So let's talk about those signals so you know these are the signals you are using when you are driving so then you could use those signals correctly and hopefully you could use it in a way to help others and help yourself number one like i said is the indicator this is the most common which we all know that we use as signals because soon as we say signal we think it's the indicators so by indicating we let others know we are going left or we are going right when you use the indicators, make sure you use it on time so that you are helping and you are not confusing others. And this is important, okay? So for example, you want to go to second road on the left. Don't signal before the first road. Because if you do, cars coming from that road will think that you are going into that road and that will be confusing. So make sure you use the indicators correctly so that you don't confuse other road users. Number two is the brake lights. Many don't think brake lights as a signal. This is also a signal because when you brake, what happens at the back of your car? The light comes on, red light comes on, telling others that you are slowing down or you are stopping. So brake light is also a signal. So let me give you an example how you could use the brake lights as a signal. So for example, you are driving on a motorway, on a dual carriageway, or on a road where you are just driving maybe 40-30 and you look at the mirror and there's a car behind you very close to you. Now how can you tell them to back off? They are very close and if you brake hard they're going to go back over you. How can you tell them to back off a little? One of the things you can do is cover the brake, just put your feet on top of the brake and gently brake, just touch the brake. If you touch the brake, what's going to happen at the back? The red light comes on. If the red light comes on, the car behind, what are they going to do? they're going to start to slow down. Then you start to increase a little bit more. What's going to happen? The gap gets bigger. So can you see how you could use the brake as a signal? And this is why we look at the mirror every five to eight seconds. Why? So we know who's behind so that when we need to brake for some reason, we don't brake hard suddenly because the danger is the car behind is going to go back of you. So what do you do? You touch the brake gently first so the car behind knows you are braking, slowing down, automatically they're going to brake the car or slow the car. Then you start braking harder to stop the car or whatever you need to do to slow the car. So this is the brake light as a signal. Number three is the reverse lights. Reverse lights is white light at the back. When you go to reverse gear to reverse the car, white light comes at the back. Why? So that, so that others know that you are reversing car coming from the back will know that you want to reverse or you are reversing they could either stop and let you do what you want to do or they could go around because they know that you are reversing one of the thing about reversing is if you're reversing downhill okay even if you don't go to reverse gear if you take the handbrake off the car will go automatically my advice to you is put the reverse gear anyway why so that it's a signal others knows that you are say, reversing so even though the car is going to, so whenever you are reversing, whether you are on a level road or downhill, even if the car is going to go automatically, go to reverse gear. That way you are telling others, because remember reverse is also a signal. You are telling others that you are reversing. Next is the hazard warning light. 
okay now when can you use the hazard warning light you could only use it if you have a problem with your car and you need to stop for some reason for a little while you let others know that there is a problem in my car i need to stop this is when you can use the hazard light the other time you can use on a motorway or on a dual carriageway is when where there is a problem ahead you could see there is a problem maybe there is roadworks or maybe there is an accident and you could see there is cars slowing down or already stopped far away you could put the hazard light on to let others know that there is a problem ahead i could see so they do the same and that's how you warn people you are helping others you don't put the hazard light on for your benefit so don't stop on a double yellow line and don't put the hazard light on because that will be abusing you will be abusing the reason why hazard lights are there for okay so use the hazard light to let others know you've got a problem in your car when you stop on the left and also to warn others there is a problem on a motorway or maybe on a dual carriageway you put the hazard light on so that you let others know that there is a problem and they will know and they will do the same for the other cars behind them too then we have position of your car many learners they don't think that that the way we position our car becomes a signal and this is important for you to know the way you position your car it also becomes a signal so for example the road is narrow and there's no space for two cars okay so you are waiting for the other car in a gap so you go into a gap and then you stick your nose out why? So the car behind knows that you are about to move off again. You are waiting for the other car. If you keep your car straight, the car behind will think that you are parking. You want to go right, you position slightly towards right. You want to go left, you stay on the left. So the position of your car will tell others what you are about to do. So always remember that the way you position, it tells others what you are doing. So be at the right place at the right time to let others know your intention on what you are about to do. Next is the arm signals. Many drivers, they got no clue about the arm signals. Now, let me give you a question. What if one day you want to go to work, you wake up in the morning, you come to your car and your indicator is not working? Can you go to work? Are you allowed to drive without the indicator? Yes, you are allowed to drive with the arm signals. As long as you know the arm signals, you can't drive the car. Obviously, you need to get your indicators fixed as soon as possible, but you are allowed to drive using your arm signals going left and going right and slowing down. Do you know your arm signals? Also, it's not just for you. What if other people are giving you an arm signals? Do you know what they mean? So it is important for you to know what is arm signals and how to give arm signals to the other road users. Also, if somebody else is using, do I know what they mean? So these are the signals that we use when we are driving. So driving signals, it is important for you to know all those signals that is there. Most of them we are already using by knowing or unknowingly. But if we know these are the signals, we will use them wisely so that we are helping others when we are driving. Okay? So I hope this video helps. And that's it for this video. And please do make a comment what do you think of the video. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And hope to see you again on the next video. Bye for now.